Welcome to my channel! For today's vlog, we have everything about math with me, Sir Teng. So, let's proceed! Our main objective today is to use the square root of property to solve the equation and to solve quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. So here is our main idea or the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So we have here example number one. So x squared plus 9x plus 14 is equal to zero. So we have to get the solution of the quadratic equation by using quadratic formula. So the first thing you do is to determine the values of A, B, and C. So here, the value of A is 1, which is the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term or the first term. We have x squared, so we have invisible 1. Next, the value of B, which is 9, or the linear term, or the middle term between the quadratic equations, we have 9. Then the constant term, which is positive 14, which is C. Then substitute the values, or the given values of A, which is 1, B, which is 9, C, which is 14. To the given quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we have here now x is equal to negative b, which is 9. So we have negative 9 plus or minus square root of b squared, which is 9 squared, minus 4 times the value of a, which is 1 times the value of C, which is 14, all over 2 times A, which is 1. So perform 9 squared minus 4 times 1 times 14 and 2 times 1. So 9 squared, the answer is 81. 4 times 1 times 14, we have 56. So now the equation here is x equals negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 81 minus 56 all over 2 times 1, which is 2. Then perform 81 minus 56. So the answer is the square root of 25. Since the square root of 25 is a perfect square, which is 5, so, square root. So, we give the answer, which is positive negative 5. So, now, the equation here is x is equal to negative 9 plus or minus 5 all over 2. Then, separate the value of plus and minus. So, we have here solution 1. We have x sub 1 equals... Negative 9 plus 5 all over 2. And x sub 2 equals negative 9 minus 5 all over 2. Negative 9 plus 5, which is negative 4 over 2. So the answer here is x sub 1 equals negative 2. Negative 9 minus 5, the answer is negative 14. All over 2, the answer is negative 7. So x sub 2 is equal to negative 7. Therefore, our solutions are negative 2 and negative 7 using the quadratic formula. Okay, example number 2, we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 20 is equal to 0. So A, we have... The value of B, which is positive 3, 
the value of C, which is negative 20, or the constant term. Again, the first term is the quadratic term, the middle term, or the linear term. Then the constant, which is the numerical value, or the value of C. Then substitute by the given formula, which is quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times the value of a. So substitute the given values of a, b, and c. We have negative b. The value of b is 3 plus or minus square root of b square, so we have 3 square. Minus 4 times the value of a, which is 2, times the value of c, which is negative 20. All over 2 times the value of a, which is 2. Then perform 3 square minus 4 times 2 times negative 20, okay? Then 2 times 2, we have negative 3 plus or minus. So 3 squared is 9. Then negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times 20, we have positive. Ilan po? So positive 160 all over 4. Then next. We have x equals negative 3 plus or minus. I-add natin ang 9 plus 160. The answer is 169. All over 4. Since 169 is a perfect square of 13, so ipapactored out na natin or ilalabas na natin. So x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus 13 all over 4. Then separate the plus or minus sign to get the solution. Solution 1 is x sub 1 is equal to negative 3 plus 13 all over 4. Or we have positive 10 over 4. Or 5 over 2. So here is the simplify or simplify answer. Next, x sub 2, which is the negative sign or minus sign. So negative 3 minus 13 all over 4. So we have negative 16 all over 4, which is simplify or simply negative 4. So our solution in the example number two is five over two and negative four. Okay, please support my YouTube channel, Certain Blogs. Thanks for watching. See you on my next blog.